Hey everyone, DJ Noel here. Today we'll be comparing four line array speakers. The RCF Evox 12, Turbosound IP3000, EV Evol 50, and the Bose L1 Model 2. One of my DJ friends, DJ Eddie, recently purchased the Turbosound IP3000 and wanted to compare his speakers with other line arrays that were comparable to his. I personally own the RCF and the Evol 50 and DJ Ray owns the Bose. We all got together with other fellow DJs to test and compare them together in order to come up with our overall top choice and why. I also want to mention that this video is being circulated to various groups so it would be very difficult for all to see and reply to any comments not posted below this video. So please post all of them down below so everyone can read and quickly reply. Thank you. Okay, here we got Eddie and Eddie has brought his speakers. Eddie, uh, tell a little bit about what you brought and what well, you I bought the I brought the TurboSound IP3000. It's got 16 mids, two highs, and a dual 12 subwoofer all attached. Uh, it has Bluetooth capabilities, which we'll be running and showing later on today. And that's as much as I know about it because I just got it. So there you go. All right. Next, we're gonna get Ray over here. Ray. Brother Ray, put the, put the bag on the We're now. We, we just caught him. <laughs> Where you sound better? I brought the Bose L1 Model Twos. Uh, I brought both of the subs for now, but I'm only gonna be using one for the test, and then later on comparing it with the Turbo Sound. 24 line array speakers, uh, two and a half inch each. They're all angled out. They're not straight, so we should have a good coverage on it. Looking forward to seeing them, comparing them with the RF and the uh, Evolve and the Turbo Sound. We should have a fun time here. We'll stay tuned because we're gonna we're gonna let yeah. you know some of the good reviews that we got. All right, awesome. <laughs> and then you got Willie. Willie brought the uh, the mixer, which he's still uh, it's crazy. a work in progress. So we'll get there uh, shortly. Oh, oh. And then we got. Uh, oh. Checking out the uh, speakers at this time. Well, Eddie told me he controls everything through the pad. On his. Yes, yeah, I do. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that the pad was. Uh... It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, these are the uh, Evo 50s and RCF uh, Evox 12. Oh, oh. There, there go. goes the box. Like well, let me just tell you that the cops might be coming today over here. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Price points on each. Oh, what's the price point on this? The uh, Evox, I, I, I believe I bought these a few years ago. I paid twenty three hundred. Okay. Turbo uh, Sound, Eddie. What was the price point on it? Uh, I actually got that Turbo Sound for eleven fifty five, brand new. Probably was. Uh... The Evolve, I know they're ranging about fifteen hundred. Now the Evolve, I paid. I got a. Uh, I actually got a special on that and. Uh, Musician's friend, they got the, I got it for like fourteen hundred or thirteen fifty, something like that. Nice. The L1 Model Twos without the second sub, with the B2 sub, you're looking at about twenty one hundred. Yep, there you go. I pay my talk comparable in prices. So, these are all great, great, great systems. And we're over here just trying to get everything rolling. So shortly we'll be. Uh, yeah, Willie figured out the mix. Now it's about started. time to play. <laughs> So, okay. All right, so we're gonna start with the uh, speaker comparison. Like I said, we have the RCF, the Evolve 50, the Bose, and the Turbo Sound. We're gonna rate them by categories: portability, setup, features, clarity, bass, sound disbursement, and then we're gonna do different uh, categories of music, from house all the way to hip hop to see which one gets the best rating. Um, 
for now, portability, I'd have to go me, probably with the RCF. That's the one with the wheels, right? Yep, it's got wheels yeah. on it. The RCF with the wheels on it. Very portable. Turbo sound, I'd have to say it's fair. It's not, you know, it's kind of bulky to carry the sub. You know, you're talking about 90 pound uh, sub. Um, EVs weren't too bad either. And Ray, chime in on the bows. The bows, the good thing about it is that everything that you see there has a natural cover. Has a natural cover, they, and it's included. You got the cover for the base, you got the cover for the two speakers, and the cover for the sub, but there is no wheels. So you do need a dolly to actually to, uh, put them around. Now, however, I will add with the turbo sounds, if you get the dolly that mounts towards the back, it makes it a lot easier to transport and store. So that's, that's a plus, but you're talking about another 150 bucks added on to the cost of the unit itself. And like I said, I bought it for a thousand, $155, but I found the deal out there. So if you look, you could find the deal. So I guess, are we ready? Uh, one other point I want to bring out oh. is that um, if you look at the RCFs, they got handles on the sides and on the top. That's the nice thing about the RCFs. Yeah, yeah, uh, the, yes. uh, on the, What's the weight on the sub? Um, I got to look at the specification I can't remember, but I, I was able to pick that up very easily by myself and put it even over my shoulder, so it's not very, very heavy. Um, and, it, and, and the RCS does come with um, ba uh, carrying uh, bags for the top and, uh, and the uh, cover for the bottom, as well as the, uh, if you look at the uh, EVs, they both have uh, side handles, they have a uh, Let's walk so we can show them yeah. what, we're, what we're talking about. Let, we're going to go up to the RCS right now so you can see them. What uh, Noel was talking about here is the top handle. Is the top? There's one here. There's, there's one, one on, on, the, on side, the other side. One on the side. Yeah. And one cool feature that I did love about the RCF was these little grommets they have to hide the cables. It, it's it's perfect. It's it's very very nice. Very well designed. Very well thought of. Agreed. Um, hear the wheels on on the back. Wheels. And handle. the handle comes up. We have uh, obviously got the cord there still, but um, you know that, that comes up and it speakers out. Nice. Yeah. So the here's the turbo sound. What I was telling you about. Here's the little mounting brackets for the the dolly. But again, it's not like the RCF that is built in. So that's one of the downfalls for the turbo sound. Uh, here we got the Evolve. Again, three handles, one on top, one on each side. Yeah, and it's also Bluetooth capable. Bluetooth um, capable, like the it's turbo got sound. The, uh, the, the, the EV display, which is uh, you know common right. in most of the EVs, uh, where you can set uh, stereo or mono, or you can actually do a mix out and uh, connect another EV to it. So you can actually uh, have left and right or just completely mix, nice. which is really nice. Plus you have also, you got one, two uh, mic import inputs, uh, X, uh, what's your RCA? Yeah, and uh, uh, overall it's the most one for connections, man. Yeah, you know. Honestly, it so is. it's got a lot of, lot of connections yeah. to it. So overall it's the most complete one for connections. And uh, then next we have raised puppies, the uh, bare bones, the Bose system. It's the nothing real L1. fancy about them. L1 Model Twos with the B2 subs. I only have one on right now, which is the one on the right hand side. The one on the left hand side, I'll compare it later with the turbo sound. Um, one handle up top. That's it. That's it. But you're only talking about 28 pounds in total for each sub. So you're talking about these two subs weigh 56 pounds. Correct. Compared to my turbo sound, which weighs about 98 pounds. Yep. Okay. Now one, one thing I'd add, all these speakers you see here, I think they're they're all beautiful speakers. You, you can put them out on display because they, they look good. They're not an eyesore. And obviously you can, you, as you can see, the cables can be easily hidden from behind. So which is positive for all these speakers. Um, and, and quite frankly, they all do a great job, you know, at any event. Well, now that Noel brought it up, I do want to discuss one more thing regarding cables. The EV, pretty much two cables, power and your, your XLR. Turbo sound, power, XLR. Here, not too bad. You have to run the tops to the bottoms and then, so you're talking three cables. Turbo sounds, we got how many cables? On the bulls, we got three cables. I got the extra one because I have the external sub also right. with it, but it's three and cables. And what's right. that little power? Is that the power supply that's back there? Yeah. Okay. So the Bose also brings a power supply. Yeah, we're going to be turning all the, uh, dis the uh, displays off so we can just have a flat sound. 
So we're just going to make sure that, uh, that they're all comparable to each other. All right, cool. So we're going to pause right now and we're going to start with the sound test in a minute. All right, so we're running all four units in unison at the same time. This is what it sounds like. Now, I know you guys can't hear it as well as we can, but that was maybe halfway and everything is flat. I mean, everything's at zero. We're not using any equalizing, nothing. Everything's at zero, and it sounds so freaking good. I mean, it's the ideal setup for, for a gig. And that was halfway. So here we go. We're going to start with the RCF. You want to gauge it? Uh, we're going to keep it 85? Okay, I'm going to 80, 80, 80, 85. Let's go 80. 80? All right, let's do 80. Um, tell us when to bring it down. Up. Yeah. My bad. I was gonna get behind the mixer. Um, so we're doing a test. By the way, at 80 decibels. Follow you. Uh, follow Felix right now with the, the decibel meter. Um, this is the RCF again. Next, we're going with the bows. Back the same order. Hold on, let's the track over. I'm picking them. Well, same track. No, yeah, same track. We're doing the same comparison, right? You know what? Go to loop. Yeah. So okay. that way, every just right at the beginning, just loop it, loop forward. Oh, that's a good idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it, yeah. create a loop, yeah. and so just go through all the speakers again. Same thing. Uh, we're trying to maintain the 80 dB yeah, so you can hear the sound. Make sure that all the, all the and the focus. Now that's the RCS and the uh, they're at 80 dB. Uh, they're playing around with the EQ for a minute, so we'll wait till they're settled. Sounds now. Bring it down a little bit. Yeah, bring it down a little bit. Okay, okay. These are the EVs right now.
two subs on the bows. I think we want to turn one off. All right, so we had a little test. Uh, right now, it looks like the Evolve 50s are really much in the lead at 80 dBs. Um, the highs are phenomenal. The so highs phenomenal. are really good. Every, remember, everything's zeroed out. Nobody's cheating. Everything's zeroed out. Everything's at zero. And we're using uh, dB meters to make sure everything's at 80 dBs. Right now, uh, the, we'd all agree the Evolve is in the lead, ain't it? Yep, I think so. Yeah. The highs, yeah. Yeah. The, so far, at 80 dBs, to me, at least personally, the most disappointing will probably be the RCF because it just sounds lower. Um, but we're going to go up 5 dBs more and see what happens. <laughs> and now they just scared the crap out of me. So, uh, How about the bows? The bass. Comparing the bass. Like this, this is the bows. Then I'm going to put each one so you can we, we can actually see. Feel the bass. So far, it's between the turbo sound and the bows. But the bows, I feel like it's more punchier. That's what I feel. So I, this is a turbo sound. Yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta put them in the same. What we gonna do? Raise them up to 85. Well, no, we're just seeing the bass right now. I guess at 80. Hey, don't change. Hey. So you're gonna have to go higher in volume? Oh, yeah. Bows. Okay, these are the bows. How, how many dBs? We got the bows at 80 dBs. You gotta raise it up to 80 dBs. Yeah, let me so where am I gonna go higher? Yeah, Game foot or, or better there, but I'll talk yeah. about okay. Bring it up. Tell me when it's 80. Alright, here we are now at 80. This is 80 dBs. I don't know, to me they sound the same. I actually think the turbo sound okay. sounds leave it, leave it a little bit. No, but that's gonna be way over 80 dBs. Let's wait till we equalize those bitches and we see where they go. Oh, let's go. It's gonna get worse. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's go do for it. it. Don't let's go there. Go for it. Don't go there. Don't go. Oh, I'm gonna go there. Go for it. I'm gonna don't, go there. Eddie, don't go there, please. Let's, let's go. go. You guys are talking at 90 decibels. Y'all are fucking Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> like the Puerto Rican ain't uh, different. Dale, let's start. Oh, where, where's Puerto Rican? Huh? Who's the Puerto Rican? Oh, I'm just saying. Oh, he's Dominican. I'm the, right. I'm the Puerto Rican here. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So he's the quiet one. We we'll go figure. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, you're sorry. And the best ones are right here, Dominican no, 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 and Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay. uh, in case you want to know who the Puerto Rican is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were recording? Yeah, we're live. All right, so. <laughs> we, we, All right. All right. We, got, we, we got Felix for the highs. Uh, Felix, Felix for the highs. I'm going to follow him with the DB meter. So you guys could see. Well, I'll do the dB meter from back here. Yeah, that's about a good 15 feet away. So yeah, that's okay. perfect for Georgie. I'm gonna start with the RCF. RCF line one. If you look, we're a little further away here, so the dBs went down, but it's between 80 and 79 dBs. And that was the turbo sound. Now we got the turbo sound. Right 
of the EVs, but he's standing in front of the EV. <laughs> All right, there you go. And that's the boat. Okay, so we go back to the EV high. Okay, go back to the turbo sound. My opinion is high between the EVs and the turbo sounds. I think those are crispy sounding ones. They, they sound good. Uh, EV might be a little bit better on the highs than, than the turbo sound, but either way, the highs were really good. Thing. Yeah. How about the bass? We wanted... Okay, let's do different now. Let's do the bass. The bass. Let Ray do bass. Okay. okay, Ray's gonna check out the bass on each unit and give us his opinion. Remind you, he owns the bows, so he's gonna <laughs> cheat. <laughs> RCF. Turbo sound. That's the turbo sound. Those are the EVs. And these are the bows. Back. I back. I think base wise between the RCF and the turbo sound. That was the EV. These are the turbo sounds now. And here's the RCF. Yeah, the RCF definitely. That RCF definitely. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. not much difference, bro. Right. Really? It's pretty close. I, I There's like. There's not much difference. No. I would RCF hits punchier for some reason. Yeah. The RCF. The RCF the, I, I, I would agree. Yeah. It the, would. It was a little bit between the yeah, turbo got, sound and the RCF. Yeah. But you know the thing is, Turbo Sound has two twelves, and go. the RCF has one, one yeah. and it's real neck and neck, and the, the lead would go to the RCF. Yeah, um, I would say. Yeah. Then, so for for lows, portability, RCF way to go. Yeah. Highs, we're talking EV, outdid Turbo Sound by very, uh, you can barely tell it to be honest yeah, with you. I, I think. Um, so next, we're going to switch it up, I guess, to salsa music and see how it sounds with salsa. Uh, so give us a minute to set everything, and um, we'll take it from there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, the we are ready. Do the meter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on to the I next portion the of our test. We're going to do the vocals now, strictly vocals, just to hear how it sounds. We're going to start with the RCF. With the RCF. Mala salsa. Clave, mi gente. La clave llama la salsa. Clave, mi gente. La clave llama la salsa. This is a turbo clave, sound now. Clave, mi gente. La clave llama la salsa. It is. Clave, mi gente. La clave llama la salsa. Bones. Clave, mi gente. La clave llama la salsa. Okay. Clave, mi gente. Okay, as much as it pains me to say this, I'm going to go with the vocals with the bows. Yep, bows uh, did it. As much as that hurts, and, and look at him, look how he's laughing. He's enjoying it. <laughs> so, definitely bows uh, for vocals. Now, I guess, um, what do you want to do, the salsa? Let it ride? Oh, just let that one ride. Maybe we do salsa. salsa. All right, we're doing salsa music now. Salsero si llaman yo vengo. Salsero si llaman yo vengo. Salsero si llaman yo vengo. Now. Is this the RCF? Okay. Okay, we got the RCFs. Let's see. Okay. I guess Felix will see. I'll stay back here. <laughs> The turbo sound. Now we got the evil. EVs. Now we got the bones. Go back to the turbo 
actually going to move closer to each one. Sound gotta go with Evie. Yeah. yeah. Even though Turbo Sound wasn't that bad. Yeah, but Evie's yeah. I think took it again. Yeah, Evie's. And it's kind of interesting, bro, because Evie's doesn't have as many mids or highs as the Turbo as the Turbo Sound or the Bulls for that matter. Yeah. I mean, the Turbo Sound only has two highs and I think 16 mids. Yeah, gonna, but the Evie's still only six speakers on that line. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, from my perspective, I'm really impressed with all four of them because, as this too, when they first told me about the systems, I went, okay, you know. I'm really impressed with all four of them. Now, my favorite overall, I think EVs, but uh, the RCFs uh, for the bass, I d they sound really good. The overall, when I get close to it and when I get far away, I think the EVs, the overall sound, it sounds like a like a tighter. Like all right. A tighter so sound. let's do something. Let's get the settings, let's set each speaker how we would normally play with them. Yeah, there you so go. So we could wrap this up and fi and figure out, you know, yeah. go up to maybe, yeah. for sh now, a short span, maybe 110 uh, dB. We have to be also, we, we <laughs> definitely have to clear something up. The bows are set up way yeah. lower than everything else. Oh yes. Oh yeah, yeah. we're yeah. taking yeah. a yeah. shot at the, uh, yeah. over the here with the levels You on. gotta remember, yeah. everything we did, we compared at 80 dBs. Yeah, at 80 this dBs. is the level for the RCF. Yeah. Turbo sound, um, EVs, EVs, and, and, and here we got the Bose. Bose. Yeah, the Bose, the Bose really power wise, yeah. has performed better than the other three units. As far as yeah. pure power. As, power. as far as pure power. But the real test is coming now because we're going to adjust all the speakers as if we were playing. And we'll see what happens overall sound at a gig. So stay tuned. <laughs> Let me, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here so so we can actually, you know, when we hear it on the... It's a really big boost in the bass. Okay, so... Okay, so let's prepare the first, the RCF, the turbo sound, and the EVs for the final comparison. You want okay. you want to dog yours or no? No, because we're going to stretch that out because of the, the, uh, the highs. Yeah. We're going to be testing the uh, with the, uh, the the sound system with the uh, equalizer and all that stuff. So, but in the in 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 actually, I
Well, guys, uh, I know it's a very close call. What do you guys think? Well, we had to eliminate the bows because the highs are gone on it um, due to Ray's overparting. Over yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turning up the highs too long. 50 weddings a week. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. I want to say overall, I think it was EV first. Guys, what do you think? Basing it on pure overall package, I got to go with EV. Yeah. Lightweight, yeah. um, sounds good, has good highs, has decent bass when you put it in uh, in club mode. Um, of course, it's not a bass compared to a 15 or an 18. Um, there is going to be a difference, but it doesn't sound bad. Um, I would say, should we go, I don't know, what do you think came up, runner up? I know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> runner up, I do like the turbo sound as second and it's simply because they got a little bit more speaker so you probably get a little better coverage than what you do from the rcf but the rcf once you put the bass boost on it it made a big difference yes yeah. that was a big difference it yeah. made a big difference line to line meaning everything at, at zero db bows the bows was comparing there until we figured out that the highs aren't working on the bows and that's yeah. all my fault so i guess i screwed the pooch on this one but uh basing it on the other three the RCF actually had a tighter base when you started adjusting everything. Yeah. One thing I will say though, for the price, you know, RCF, what are, what are they running? Like $16.99, $17.99 or something like that each? Probably, yeah, they the dropped, EV. yeah, they dropped since I bought these. Um, okay, I, well, the EVs are $100 more than the Turbo Sound at list price. I think they're like $15.99. The Turbo Sound's $14.99, but I got them for. 11.55 so money wise you're not getting a bad deal with the turbo sound no you're not uh for mm -hmm. under twelve hundred dollars uh the only thing is like i said the sub is inconvenient as hell yeah. unless you put the dolly on it and then you're all good um but well, i agree with that the thing that really has sold me because this things for me is portability that's the yes. number one yeah. thing yeah. to do yes. Like Noel and I were talking about, maybe a small house party, you do a ceremony or anything like that. And portability-wise, the EVs, obviously, to me, it's a, it's a big sale because I, I'm a big, uh, uh, I love turbo sounds, but the portability is not there as, as the other one. And the sound on the EVs and the RCF is superb. Like I said, all, all of them, I'm so impressed. Because I, I didn't think we were going to get that quality sound. But so if I was to go today and jump on them, I think I will go with the with the EVs because of the portability and because it matches the, the sound so good with them. One thing we didn't talk about, though, is the overall finish on the materials. I, oh, yeah. I like the finish on the RCF and the turbo sound better yeah, than yeah. The, the EV and the Bose. Just my personal yeah. preference. I, it just looks a little sturdier. It, it's not that plastic looking like the EVs. And... When you're talking about finish, what are you talking about? The subs or just Yeah, the overall? subs. The subs. Yeah, no, Bose is plastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So with a little bit of MDF. Yeah. 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 So that's I, why the weight's so light. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, something else to keep in mind, it's application. Don't expect to do six hundred, seven hundred people. Right. No, that's not with what one but, I mean one E V. You're probably gonna need four or maybe six of them to fill the room. So I think for the average event Let's say up to what? 200 people? You think 200 people? No, I think 150. 150 we'll do I've used the, the just two EVs on 150 people, yeah. and they we'll not, not a problem. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would say 150 people. Then yeah. I've, used that then bowl, yeah, I've used that bowl system with the 200 people. We can tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why the highs ain't working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eddie probably yeah, only so took my, one. Mr. Yeah. Hunter King takes one. He likes to take yeah, one. Yeah, he takes one. He the hell out of it at one point. Bobo, I've done, yeah. I've done uh, fashion shows up to 500 people with two of them. Well, listen, the R RCF is 1,400 watts, I believe, right? The RCF is 1,400. Yeah. The turbo sound is 2,000 watts, and the EV is 1,000. Bose is non-rated because they're special. Yep. Just That's like true. the owner. Yes. Yeah, thank they, you. They blow, three, <laughs> they blow highs. Um... Are we really going to go there? We're going <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, I give my opinion. Yeah, go no. I, I actually like all of them. I mean, I, I think they're all great. They all do a fantastic job at any event. 
Um, the one thing I, I do want to, I can't say, is like, I, like uh, Felix has said, the EVs are smaller, more compact. So if you have something, if you're a DJ that has to be with a small table, really tight places, that's kind of the way to go um, because, you know, you, they fit just about anywhere and they don't take that much space. Uh, the cables you're able to hide on all of these uh, units because you, you can't see any of that uh, once they're hidden behind. The, um, the I, I gotta say, I am impressed of, uh, with the IPs, the way they sound. You know, once you tweak everything, they, they sound really, really good. And uh, actually, they, they all do. But um, uh, I, I'd say what I like about the EVs, and uh, I'm just being biased now, but, <laughs> but it's because of that no, reason. Really? Yeah. I, 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 I use these EVs in a ceremony. And, Keep literally now. I put it in, I use the sewer, I set it up. It's only three pieces to set up. Um, I'm less than, takes me maybe less than five minutes to set it up. So that's what I like about those things. So yeah. taking right. it down quick, uh, using the Bluetooth technology, using an iPad, I can run any ceremony with that. Um, and that's all I really need. I can control it from far away. So that's the nice thing about the uh, EVs, it's remote. Uh, and the same thing, I, um, I think the IPs have remote yeah, as well. Yeah, the IP has so, Bluetooth as well. You know, those again, you can put those uh, in a ceremony and which and use don't. Yeah, so that, that's you know some of the uh, you know positives <laughs> of these uh, speakers. Those did come out about ten years ago, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, still and, here. Yeah. And with the bigger speakers, I don't know, but I know the the little one, uh, the EVs, I can run them off the generator fairly easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, um, and I'm glad that you brought up that point because I will tell you from personal experience, Bose, if you do not have a solid power input on it, they will start shutting off on you. They have that protection inside the system. So you can't run it off of per se. If you got a generator, you'd have to make sure the voltage is, re is regulated the same throughout. If not, it will start shutting down on you to the point where it might, it'll ruin your party, that's for sure. But to the point where you, al you also probably have to adjust it and not use as much base just to be able to go through the night. And one last thing, after standing here, at least for me, one last thing, and looking and comparing at the subs on all of them, what I don't like about the turbo sound is it's begging for people to put cups, beers. <laughs> uh, they do it on mine, bro. All those type, yeah, but look at the platform on the turbo yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to sit down yeah. there. Yeah, I'm they, tired. I want to sit. Yeah, they could actually sit on the edge of your speaker. So that might be a downfall. I mean, I don't like it when they put drinks on my speakers. That annoys the hell out of me. But we'll, I'm gonna stick with the turbo sound because I like them, um, and it's just my preference. Again, it's gonna go to your preference and what you want and what you could afford. That's the big thing. Yeah. You know, price-wise, you know, Bose system, Ray systems, like I don't know for the two is what. Like, for the two, with everything that I had, was it was about fifty-eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Where I bought both of mine, well. I haven't gotten the second one, but I will have bought both of mine for under $2,400. Ray, are they still that same price? Because I know you got yours a long time ago. Do you know? I got them, I got them cheaper than that. Yeah. And the reason for it is Bose, every once, three months or something like that, they actually do a 15% off. Yeah. And if you're smart, you'll jump on it. And that's right. about the best time that you're ever going to get anything. Yeah, yeah. Now, for most of the other ones, like Labor Day, Memorial Day, you can find the EVs, Turbo Sounds, and RCFs relatively yeah. cheaper as well. Yeah. Everybody throws a discount both I, I know a guy who should have bought him back in Vegas. Well, but remember, and, do and, it. This, and this is solidifies the point. I'm a big, huge Bose fan. There's no question about it. Everybody knows that. But Felix was just holding the, 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 the camera, and Willie here, when we all went to Vegas early this year, first thing I told him was if the EVs would have been out, I would have bought them going yeah. to Bose, simply because of all the technology that there is behind it. Yeah. It's 112, which sounds cranked pretty amazing, and the Bluetooth and the connectivity issue. None of I don't think even the turbo sound has the plug-in for the for the quarter inch, correct? I mean for the eight. I'm not Does sure. It? I'd have to look. Uh, you can, uh, let's take a look real quick. The EV has RCA connections where you can connect an iPod. Does. You can you have another uh, eighth inch connection which you can connect directly oh, iPod no. to iPod as well. Plus you have two inputs of channels which the Bose only has one. RCF I think only had one, or does the RCF have two? The RCF has. Uh, Turbo sound should have two as well. It has quarter inch yeah. and uh, XLR. But it's, so well, it's two channels channel. or it's the same channel? One channel or two channels? Uh, this is... Bones, guys, is bare bones. This is one channel. That's one Bose. Channel. Bose is bare bones. Yeah, one, one channel, channel only? One channel. And the turbo sound? So the RCF is one, channel. Is, is one channel. Bose is one channel. Turbo sound should be two. And EV is three. That's amazing right there. Yeah, yeah, that's a big... Uh, yeah, that's now, the three... Channel 2 swaps. You can either go RCA or you can go uh, the iPod, which is the 8th, or you can go through XLR. 
Okay. Now the other channel is just dedicated uh, XLR. There's no, there's no other way around it. All right, so nice wrap up, guys. Great, Great job, job, everybody. Great job. Thank you, Noel. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for the hospitality. Right, well, thank thank you. You. Yeah, bro, I appreciate it. We appreciate yeah. it, man. Thank it's you. great having you guys, and this is great. Uh, you know, it gets everybody a, a new perspective on on uh, speaker gear, so people uh, can actually, you know, make a uh, sound, uh, you know, uh, can, can think about yeah. what they want to get. Yeah. This is true world sound by guys All who the, actually work the industry every almost every other weekend or every weekend for that yes. matter. Yeah. Yeah. All these speakers, you can't go wrong. I mean, no, anywhere you, you buy, you know, it's going to work for what you need, you know. Exactly. Like everything else, if you need more, you get more speakers. That's yeah, it. yeah, that's it. That's yeah. Now, tear, one last thing to tear down. How long does it take you to tear down the, uh, the RCF? Uh, the RCF will take me uh, like maybe uh, uh, four minutes. I right. want to say mine will take about two minutes. Do you bring covers on yours or no? Yeah, I got covers. I haven't okay. purchased the covers on mine yet. Okay. But I mean, let's let's flip it around. Let's do it. I'll tear down mine real quick right now. It takes me about five minutes with the covers on both. So here we go. Turning it off. No, yeah. I'm yeah part I'm one. There we go. Tear down complete. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> now I don't have the covers for it, so that's why I'm not putting it anywhere. But yeah. that's pretty much what it is. That's the tear down on on the uh, turbo sound. Yeah, it's pretty much simple and academic for me. Turn the power off. One and two. I'm gonna put it in here. That's it. That's it. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the great thing about these things. The affordability yeah. is just crazy. Uh, at this point, what I'm going to do is just going to turn the power on, lower the volume first, and pretty much, you know, just uh, take out the speaker power, pull it off from here. Uh, one thing I noticed also with the RCF, you do have the pouches that come with it. Yep. And I know the EV does too. The EV does bring take covers, but so does the Bose. Turbo sound doesn't, right? No. You gotta buy them extra. Right. But and even an extra is how much? It's a bag. Oh, there you the go. The top covers That's nice. are. Those are nice covers. 40 bucks. Yeah, those are okay. very nice covers. And the bottoms, uh, yeah. I think it was 80. Yeah. So about $120 aside. Before, just make sure you got this guy down. 240. So you're talking about. <laughs> it's about the same thing as the Evolve when you, when you really break it down. Let's so unscrew it here. Oh. Yeah. The bag has a uh, side pouch for it. Oh, look at that. Like that. Nice. Small. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. That is I good. Like that Beautiful. Look at that. He's and done. Just, just but here, here's the good table. part about the RCF. He's That's done. Gone. Here gone. you go. Yeah. This is the best part. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Bye. That's and you're out. Awesome. You're out the door. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, like Ray like I, I said, like I said before, um, the portability on these things is it's really my, my, my biggest selling point. So that's where uh, turbo sound let me down a little bit because the, uh, uh, the base the, uh, cabinet is so heavy. For the EVs. But I, I love the bags. The good for thing the about RCS. turbo sound, man, you can tell it can go high volumes. No, that's the thing. Yeah, you, you can, can tell it you can volumes, punch it. But yeah. Portability wise. Yeah, the portability. The the, it's a pain in the ass to pick yeah. up ninety some. I mean, eighty something pounds. But okay. remember, we're also right. this is their I guess their biggest unit. You have the IP2000, which weighs less. Yeah. It's a single 12. Right. Uh, which will probably compare better with exactly. what's here. Yeah, I agree with that too. Yeah. Um, so let's not discount turbo sound based on the IP3000 yeah. because it's just a big bulky unit. Right. Um, like me and Ray were discussing while uh, Noel was um, showing his breakdown. Bags uh, for the turbo sound, you're talking about, I think it's 40 bucks for the top. 80 bucks for the bottom so you're talking 120 to the 1100 so you're still way under that 1500 dollars range per side so it all depends what you want to do for the for the money in comparison to this would be the ip2000 okay the ip2000 is a thousand dollars compared to 1599 correct but you know again user preference all right. Okay. Well, and then here's the, uh, the EV. There we go. We, uh, turn the volume down. Power it off. Unplug that. Plug the SLR. This guy, as you can see, one hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. That's it for me. The that's for me. That's one hand. I'm a little guy. Throw that guy in there. The other hand. Here's <laughs> your handicap where you're just one handed. Oh, and the there bag is really sweet, too. There you go. Look. 
Look at that. <laughs> I use them as dumbbells. Yeah, that's oh, that's a, that that's the biggest selling point for me. Definitely go for that. I'm, I'm not a muscle guy like all these guys. Case. case real simple. Slip right over it. I got a snug fit, so. Yeah, there you go. That's it. No, and that's good for when you're carrying them. There you Let's go. Get it in there no, no, that's perfect. Right Look at that. No, that's perfect. Though. Yeah, that's perfect. And it opens up. Yeah, yeah. This way. And no, and on the sides, I see it's got the openings too. There you right go. Here. Beautiful. What is that? And then this guy. Yeah, much. that bag is pretty cool too. The yeah. bag itself, you can fit the power yeah. cord in there. And I got some extra, a little extra slide here, which Very. I use my. Uh, Oh my yeah. My wireless stuff. <laughs> Keeping it extra, it's extra stuff that yeah. comes in handy. Close the dive boy up and done. Zip it up. Wow. All right. So that's a wrap. Say goodbye, Ray. Bye. Well. All right, guys. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Ready? Thank you. We'll see you again when Ray fixes his highs, so we can really get this going. There you go. All <laughs> right. Should have brought my others. Good night. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If there's something else you want to know, please post them in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button in order to be notified when the next video comes out. We're going to be reviewing some of the best 12-inch speakers in our next segment. Thanks again for watching and have a great sounding day.